So you finally saved up and bought yourself a JDM car. Now you want to spice things up, give it a little bit more juice. In today's episode, I'm going to give you five JDM must-have mods to achieve Japan's Saiku, also known as the ultimate honorable award for the highest achievement. Let's get started. All right guys, number one on my list for the five JDM must-have mods would be the steering wheel. Let's do it as a combo, steering wheel and shift knob. The reason why I say one of the most important mods would be a, a, a steering wheel is because most JDM cars are gonna be bought either used or um, not or previously owned. And chances are that steering wheel is gonna be just janked or just used and abused. And uh, nothing beats that brand new feeling when you hop in your car and you grab that steering wheel and it's just a tangible feeling. Um, this is where you car and driver connects is basically through the steering wheel and the shift knob. And nothing beats that brand new feeling you guys with that nice Alcantara leather or uh, carbon fiber. So number one on my list, steering wheel you guys. While you're at it, since you already got the steering wheel and the shift knob and if you wanna gain that extra JDM points, get the quick release or the quick tilt. When you pull up, hard park, and you pop that uh, quick release or the tilt and hop out, everybody's gonna be, holy shit! Extra points. All right, number two on my list. Boys and girls, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. It's the bucket seat. This one in particular is uh, Brid Japan. It's another JDM mod that keeps you planted and connected with the car. Doesn't matter if it's a Corolla, Civic, Supra, GTR, Skyline. This is one of the best mods that you can get for yourself. Who doesn't love hucking their car around the corner? It saves weight and the beauty. Most of these seats can be transferred onto your next vehicle. So it is an investment that we'll just keep on investing in. But I said most vehicles because some of them are going to be too big and it might not fit your vehicle but in most cases it will and uh save up you guys like i said don't buy a replica or a knockoff you, you might end up paying with your uh, life in the end and uh peter lou is going to come out there and knock your ass out so save up you guys and these are worth it and you can always either sell them in the future if you don't like them but you won't all right Mod number three, well, not really a mod, but all your friends and all your girlfriends that hop in your car are gonna say, wow, what is that smell in your car that smells so good? The air spencer. The particular one that I suggest is squash. Don't get any other flavors or smells or any of that. And if you're a true JDM guy, you will not rock that spruce tree or that, spine, or that pine tree. Mm -mm. This one. Go in there and ask for Air Spencer squash. This will be, uh, you guys will, you, you're gonna thank me later, you guys. When you go to that car meet or car show or give friends a ride, roll down that window the first time they hop in, they're gonna say, wow, what is that smell? Squash. All right, so the next mod is mod number four. Uh, this one is kind of dear to my heart. It brings back a lot of fond memories when I was in Japan, uh, my first time ever. Uh, we rode the bullet train, traveled around mainly on the train. Uh, we did some busing and stuff like that. But the thing that stood out for me the most was um, the Saragawa. What the Saragawa is, is that the little handle, they could be triangles, circles, and now these days they're like, hearts and all that stuff that uh, transition to uh, Japanese call car uh, culture uh, that trickled into uh, US or Canada or North America. Um, it symbolizes, I guess, there's a history of the Saragawa, uh, rebellious, uh, shows uh, freedom, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. 
and I don't have one yet. I've been looking for one that is actually genuine or genuine. Uh, I just don't want to buy a replica and they're hard to find. But it'd be pretty sick to have one, I think, a genuine one. Um, I guess when you're, you know, when you're thinking your speed racer or initial D, that Saragawa is going to swing around, hit the, hit the, uh, I guess where you place it mostly is around the, um, the windshield visor or the handrail here. And it's going to knock against the window or the windshield and you're feeling those, basically those G's, tangible feelings again, like I said. And you know, when you're thinking your initial D and you're in that one corner and your bros are going to grab that thing and holy shit, scream. Best feeling. Or when you have your girlfriend or your side chick in your car and you're going to have some fun and she's grabbing onto that thing. Extra JDM points. Go get yourself a Saragawa. All right. Mod number five. Again, this one will cost you an arm and a leg, or a child, or a brother, or a sister. It's the Volk Racing TE37s. Ultimately, uh, arguably, the most sought after JDM wheel out there in the world. Hands down, I don't care what you guys say, this is my go-to uh, set of wheels. They come in all different sizes, but only the six spoke famous uh, look. Often uh, imitated, but never duplicated, you guys. Uh, save your money, well worth it. Again, this is a rim that could go on forever, or it just, you can sell it or put it onto your next uh, vehicle. This is timeless. This has been around for so long, you guys, and you cannot go wrong. The only way you can go wrong is buying a replica. Everybody's gonna call you out. Uh, you're gonna lose street creds for sure. Don't buy a knockoff. And again, Peter Lou, the real wheel deal and his big ass guns will knock your shit out. So, number five on my list, you guys, TE37s. You can customize it to whatever you want. I can go on and on all day long, you guys. I love these things. So, save you money. Get the TE37s. Did I mention the TE37 is a must-have JDM mod? If you guys are interested in guys and want to get some fitment and some sizes and stuff like that, I'm gonna put my uh, friend's link in the corner here. Go check him out, guys. Huge, huge uh, amount of information that uh, Peter can help you out with uh, sizing and get you in the uh, right specs for your car. Uh, he is the guy to go to uh, for sizing. Check him out, you guys. TE37s. I know I only mentioned five mods, but I thought I would mention this one. I think it's worth it. You guys can't hear me? Just hold on, I will. let me turn it off. I know I mentioned five JDM must-have mods, but I forgot, this is one of the most important ones, and in my particular case, I got it for free, is the exhaust system. Uh, I don't know what it is, but man, when the sound of the exhaust note, when you're revving it, like I said, doesn't matter what it is, Corolla, Civic, Supra, GTR, it's something about that when you slam on that gas and that exhaust note hits, Best feeling in the world, even though you're not going the fastest in the world, but because of that sound and you're banging off those gears with that new steering wheel, that new fresh uh, scent from your uh, air spencer, can't go wrong, you guys. Uh, I got mine for free because it fell off. <laughs> so in my particular case, you guys, my muffler fell off. Uh, right at the joint here and uh, I haven't had time to uh, put it back on the Corolla here I just took it off other than the like the rattling from the exhaust system hitting uh, I think it's like a 
the frame or whatever underneath the Corolla. It's quite, it's, 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 it's nice. It doesn't sound bad, but that rattling is the worst. It's when you go to a, a stop or uh, at a certain temperature, uh, it rattles like really bad. But I'll get around to it and fixing that. But if you want to change that feeling, that driving uh, sensation, get an exhaust system, you guys. Um, maybe an axle back to get rid of some of that big muffler. And it just, yeah, it's worth uh, mentioning for sure, you guys, that exhaust system. That's pretty much my five must-have JDM mods that can get you massive points amongst your uh, peers. So again, you guys go out there, enjoy it, do all your modifications uh, while you're uh, in winter season right now for us boys and can boys and girls in Canada. And uh, very jealous of you guys in the states where you guys are able to drive your cars all year round. So comment below, you guys, or leave a comment below if I. Uh, if you agree with me with on the mods that I listed off, if those are the top fives that you, um, if those are the top fives that you guys would do on your car too, or uh, if I missed something or that, uh, or you guys wanted to add onto that list, put a comment below. You guys I'd love to discuss with you guys on that and uh, chime in on it. Thanks again, you guys, uh, for joining me in this week's uh, video vlog. Um, if you enjoy all the, my content that I put out and find it useful, smash that subscribe button, you guys, turn on the notification and uh, give me that thumbs up. And thank you for all you guys that are, uh, and girls that are uh, supporting me and uh, subscribe to my channel, you guys, it means a lot. And uh, trying to hit that uh, thousand subscriber threshold. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya! Like